time for a one take in the car. Hey you guys, so it is my night off from the show and what am I doing on my night off? I am going to get costumes fitted for the next show. Dreams. Is this living the life? Anyway, with the unusual weather during this past week or 10 days, I've been getting a lot of questions about cruise ship life, how to do hurricane season, what they're currently doing with the performers on board now, and what they're doing with passengers on board now. So I thought I would answer two of the top questions I have gotten this past week. The first question asked me if I was ever able to cruise for free. But to answer the question short and sweet, yes. Carnival employees are allowed two free cruises a year depending on like the availability. Obviously you can't do it during the high season on the nicest ship. It just depends on where they have room for an extra room to be taken or they have room for extra rooms. That works. Personally, my favorite deal with working on board is the fact that I can get a family or a friend to cruise with me in my cabin for $7 a day. Usually I'll just tell them to get themselves to the port and then I would normally cover the cost of getting them you know, on the ship and having them stay with me. My sister, to tie into the next question, my sister did cruise with me during hurricane season and the question that was asked was, Kristen, have you ever had to cruise through hurricane season? What's the protocol with the guests? What's the protocol with the crew? So to answer the question and tie it into the first, my sister did come and cruise with me on the Carnival Imagination. It was a three or four day cruise, so she got the $7 a day deal. She flew down with my grandparents and Hurricane Sandy hit. And she was sick every single night. Um, the worst part about hurricane season on board is the fact that you can feel your home listing or tipping back and forth. Most of the cabins that I stayed in were at the bottom of the ship so we could hear the waves crashing and you'd lay in bed and you would just literally feel this all the time. I never got seasick but my sister got sick every single day of this cruise. And we were actually able to dock in Nassau, Bahamas. That's the only place we were able to actually get off the ship for a day and it had got hit so hard by Sandy. Like there was just debris in the streets. It was just not a good time. Atlantis was okay. I currently don't know the state of the Bahamas right now since Hurricane Irma hit, but I do know that the Florida Keys just got just destroyed. And I've been seeing pictures from my friends, and people that live there that I've met on the ships. Like it breaks my heart to see all of that. When it comes to passengers, some of the ships that were trying to stay out of Irma's way would dock in either New Orleans or Galveston or even so far as Norfolk, Virginia or Charleston, South Carolina. If they could do that, if they could dock up there and keep their guests safe from Hurricane Irma. And I do know that some of the performers that were rehearsing to go on board ships, they rehearsed down in Florida, just outside of Miami. I know that they actually got put on board ships rather than flying them home to go back to sea it made a lot more sense for them to pack their bags a few weeks early and just get on the ships and go out to safety rather than fly them all home. To wrap up and answer the two most commonly asked questions this week, yes, you can cruise for free if you are a crew employee with Carnival. I don't know about other lines, but I know that works that way with Carnival. And hurricane season is horrible. I don't wish it upon anyone, whether they be crew, passengers, land owners, livers, all of them. I think it's just terrible and I am so sorry for anybody that has been going through Hurricane Harvey or Irma or even the storms that have been taking place over in Asia. Speaking of our storms here in America, I decided to give my YouTube paycheck from this last month. I don't know if you saw my video talking about how I tripled my YouTube income and was able to pay my mortgage. Well, I already had the money to pay my mortgage in my bank account, so I'm going to send a portion of that money to the Red Cross. I'm also going to send a donation of whatever money this video makes or any of my other cruise ship videos make for the month of September. That does not mean go and put a ridiculous amount of views on them. This is not a promotion. Please watch my videos. I am just stating that whatever income comes from these videos, I will not be keeping for myself. I will be sending it to the Red Cross. If you guys know of any other people who've been affected by Hurricane Irma or Harvey, leave them down in the comments. If you have any other questions about cruise ship life, jobs, any of that fun stuff. I try to do one of these videos per month. 
You can go ahead and leave any questions you like down below in the comment section. And once again, any views or thumbs up on this will help it get views, but this is not a give me a viral video type of situation. That's not what this is about. This is just literally saying, I want to help. I'm giving a portion of my current YouTube income and I'm going to give whatever money this video and my other cruise ship videos make to the United States Red Cross. If you would like to make a donation, I will put that link down below. Please consider giving if you can and are able. If you haven't seen any pictures, go ahead and look it up in the news. You can see the devastation is people that have been left with nothing absolutely nothing. So I do feel it is our job to do what we can to help them out. So if you can give, please do. But I'm going to wrap this up. I have 35 minutes to get downtown and get measured for my next show. What is my next show? Dream Girls. It is Dream Girls. And it will happen. I get a nice month away from the theater once Pirates of Penzance closes and Dream Girls open. There's a month in between for me to catch up on sleep and life and having evenings and having weekends and all the fun things that come with that. But anyway, I'm gonna let you guys go. Sorry if this is more of a chatty video, but I wanted to answer those two questions in a timely fashion. I've had them in my inbox for a few days, so I wanted to get to them. Uh, we will have some other videos coming out this weekend and later next week. Be sure to check those out. And if you do like cruise question and answer type videos, give this one a thumbs up. Any further questions you have about cruise ship life, go ahead and leave them down below. If you don't know what I'm talking about, click the video up above in the cards. It's also the video that plays when you click on my channel if you're not subscribed. It's called My Life as a Cruise Ship Singer. It explains how I work for Carnival Cruise Lines and just kind of explains the story of how I got that job was like living at sea. Anyway, that is enough rambling from me. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you're watching it unsubscribed, click that little red subscription button down below. It'll update you each and every time I upload a video. Thank you guys once again, and I will see you in the next one.